In the past, I used to suck at design and all the products I made were like really shitty looking. But with all the new AI design tools, I've actually been able to make really beautiful products that customers are happy using because they're actually well made and really aesthetic. So I wanted to go over my design process and how you can also use it to build better looking or beautiful products that not only get more sales, but also customers will enjoy using with the help of AI. Let me go over an example. So I am building this copywriting tool that I'm going to be using for myself, but I might release it in the future, who knows? But here is like the idea. Basically, I went on Explain Insights and I validated the idea, which is basically like a copywriting tool that will help people write better social medias, better emails, whatever. So it's a proven offer and it's already made over $200,000. Here is the landing page. In this video, let's work on improving it. So basically what I've done, find landing pages that I like and this doesn't have to do with just landing pages, but it's like even if you're designing a product feature, you want to screenshot the parts of the site or app you like and give it to V0. Some people don't like V0. I don't know, like I've been testing it and it's better than the other alternatives. If you guys have suggestions, please feel free to give it. But yeah, I've been using V0 and what I will do is I will tell it to first clone it. So. Obviously, we're not going to be cloning this design to our apps, but it's just to start. You just tell it to clone it and it will give you this design. Here's the key part. You tell it to create three variations of the landing page and focus on changing the user experience, the CRO, which is basically the conversion rate optimization slash conversions instead of just changing colors. So let me break down why this is important. So if you don't mention to change these things instead of just color, it will just make random variations of the landing page with just color changes and it's, it's not that impactful. So I've been just going with like black and white designs, but I will also mention again, this isn't just for landing pages. It's for anything that you need to design before you, you implement it in cursor or before you code it. So if, if this is a feature, it's, it's also the same process. It's going to make three variations. We're trying to go through the variations and figure out what we like and don't like. The first variation added a social proof and testimonial. So let me just go over the first original design it made. So here is a screenshot. So what I really like that it has this email button, social proof and features, and this like thing with, with this column on the right hand side that has like features. This is what I really liked about it. So now it cloned it and it's pretty good make variations. So this is the first vari variation. So instead of the feature card, it has this testimonial thing, which I don't really like, but I'm happy that it made it just as a test case. Anyways, the second variation is that it has a product comparison and unique features chart on the right side, which I like, I would be down to test this version of the landing page as well. And then the third variation is adding more urgency and scarcity added this little banner here. And then this like chart down here, which has like the number of spots available for this price. I think this is fine, but like probably all three of these is it comes across as a bit desperate. I would add certain components of each variation. I really like this feature grid. So I would add this and add this uh, urgency thing at the bottom, like a countdown. That's why you want more than one variation. What I said is take variation two, but make it more refined instead of just three variations. Now I have one that I like, so it's added this feature card. So that's great. And the other key part is to describe it in verbose details with great detail and also to make it mobile re responsive. So the reason that we want to do this is because after we generate this entire like script, we can copy it into cursor and I've tested it. If you tell it to make it more detailed, it will improve. So you, you copy that prompt and you tell it to describe it. Then you copy this entire response, take a screenshot of the landing page, paste it into cursor. And then you see it added the image in the top right or top left with this little image thing. Make it look like the image plus description. And the other small tip I have is the actual benefit is that you can create variations fast. If you're a design learner or more visual, this will help, especially if you don't want to design it in Figma. Some people might say you can just use Claw to design it but I've tested it and the designs in V0 are a little bit better. So if you don't have the budget, probably don't buy it. But yeah, I'm just trying to test all the different AI tools right now. <clears throat> Here is the code generated after we pasted the response. I, I just, I will just copy and paste this because this is just a one file 
index.html and let's look at what it made. So I refresh it and you can see that it's not perfect and it's like weirdly formatted where the components are touching, but at least it's mobile responsive, right? What we can do is tell it to improve the code. But yeah, you just gotta play, play around with the prompt so that cursor will write the code so that it looks more like the image. And all right, so it finished it and let's see if it improved the design. I mean, it's relatively the same, but yeah, we can spend more time prompting and improving the design, but for the video sake, I will just like show you guys the other tips. So basically the next tip is right now, the copy is like not the idea that I wanted. So what I want is email or AI tool that helps you write better marketing emails, change the copy to this. That's one. Also, that's another um, useful case of cursor where it can it, it can also write the, the copy on the page, not just limited to code. This allows you to create sites more reflective of what you're trying to build. I'll just copy paste and refresh. Sometimes we need to just copy the body because it will not write all the code. So we just copy the body. All right, let's see. All right, so AI email assistance for high converting marketing campaigns. This looks good. We'll just push this to our GitHub. And again, this is the tip where just make it a one click thing where it pushes the code to, to your GitHub. And then if you have it connected to Cloudflare pages or some other deployment thing, you should see it online as fast as or as easy as just one click. Yeah, that was before and now it's after and this is the new landing page. Hopefully this was a good tip on how you guys can iterate on landing pages really fast. I will make another video iterating on product features and product like in app stuff. It should be like the same process, same like frameworks, but I'll make a separate video for that just so you guys can see as well. So see you guys later.